Clay, are you lost? What? You're in the kitchen. What are yeah, you I live making? In this kitchen. You live in this kitchen. Eating That's snacks. A, eating snacks. What you making? Cakes of the pan. Cakes of the pan. <laughs> the bird cakes. Oh goodness. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, the 5th of July. It's 10 past 8 in the morning. Hence why I'm still in my pajamas with my hair up in my um, face washing bun. <laughs> Clay's out here cooking pancakes for breakfast. I never said I was cooking. Oh. I've just well, mixed To me, them. it looks like you're cooking. I'm just mixing This Good attitude. Job, you did a great job. Look at that consistency. Who put the water in? Me. Who did all the hard work? I did all the hard work. We had a packet and poured the water in. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, you guys, welcome to the vlog. I've missed you guys so much. I know I didn't put, well, I'm not going to be putting out a video this coming Thursday. So it's going to have been a whole week since I've seen you guys by the time this video goes up. Um, and yeah, I hope that everyone's doing well, but no plans for today. It's just going to be a super chilled, at home, vlog type of day, I think. Hey Clay, unless we're going somewhere later. Yeah. Yeah, but um, first things first, breakfast, breaking of the fast. We're going to have some pancakes. I wish that we had some berries, but we don't. But we've got... We've got the good stuff, so it's okay. While Clay's on cooking duty, I am, of course, Gonna try and get around him. And I'm on TG. Hello, baby. Why does it look purple? I don't know, but that is pancakes, maple syrup, banana, and Clay literally just said to me, Where did you get the banana from? <laughs> Clay is mowing the lawn. And um I'm actually the worst vlogger in the world. <laughs> um we Obviously I got dressed. Um, I feel like my makeup just looks awful today, but anyway. Um, we went to the beach. We went to my sister Sam's house, hung out with Koa for a bit, took some photos because Koa and I have this matching outfit. It is this two-piece Adidas set and... Why do lawnmowers have to be so damn loud? And these really, really cute um, like little Ugg slippers. Obviously Kawa's are way more cute, but I really wanted to get a photo in them with Kawa while she still fit into everything that she has at the moment. So that's what we've been doing and I've got no idea what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I really should have vlogged everything, but I left my camera at home like a bloody idiot. <sighs> that's just my life. But I do actually have some other news for you guys, which involves going out to the garage. Welcome to our garage, um, which Clay has been a very busy boy this morning organizing basically all of my crap <laughs> and putting it onto these shelves. Um, we've sold a bunch of stuff, like this lawnmower is going, these suitcases are going, there's two of these TVs, they're going. Just a whole bunch of stuff that I've been hoarding. Literally forever, that needs to go. But, I wanted to come out here to show you guys, dun da da da, the fireplace. I might just put the garage door open so you guys can actually see. Ta-da, how good does it look? So, Clay completely um, like brushed back the whole outside of it and resprayed it. The only thing that we couldn't really figure out how to clean up is this door. So obviously it's meant to be gold, but when we try to like polish it or anything like that, Jesus, <laughs> um, it sort of like takes the gold off. Not like this black part, but like, if, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like silver. But uh, yeah, so we're just trying to figure out how to clean up that part and then within the next couple of weeks, hopefully Clay will be able to install it. So that's very exciting. And then in other news, once the garage is all organized, we're gonna be taking everything out of here and um, painting the floor and everything out there. I've been going on about that forever <laughs> because I really just want to actually make good use of the space out there. And I've gotten a few more little bits of gym equipment that I really wanna set up. Um, into like a little bit of a home gym. We absolutely scored in Kmart last night. We found a 15, a 12, a 10, and eight kilo kettlebells, which I was very, very excited about. Like probably way too excited about. But yeah, like I mentioned in the end of the last vlog, 
I've just had a lot of just stupid stuff on my mind lately and I feel like the gym has been a really good place for me to just be and like just be like alone with my thoughts and not even that but like um just like have some time to myself and be doing something for myself and um oh god this is <laughs> this is so damn vague because normally i tell you guys absolutely everything but literally it's just some things are just not meant for the internet but yeah i realized this morning that i've been to the gym like 21 days in a row and i was like wow like no wonder i'm so exhausted Yesterday afternoon at like 3.30 I just crashed and I was just dead to the world <laughs> like I slept for I think a good hour until Clay came home and woke me up but I could have definitely slept for longer but anyway right now it's nearly one o'clock there is some leftover pizza in the fridge with my name on it so I'm gonna go get into that I'm gonna get changed because I don't want to wear this today I literally just put it on to snap that big with color um but yeah, I'm, I'm so obsessed with these slippers, but then I realized they're not actually the ones that I wanted, but I mean, I'm not mad about it, whatever. The ones that I actually wanted are so hard to find, which is why I thought they were those. But anyway, doesn't matter. I'm going to get changed, grab some pizza, and then I think I'm going to vacuum the house real quick. I got a belly full of pizza and I'm, it was so heavy the other day when we went grocery shopping because... This has been sold out for like a month. <laughs> like it's just been not there and I don't know why. Everyone decided they wanted to get some air wick carpet fresh in their lives, but finally got it. Very happy about it because as you guys know, these carpets, these bloody carpets. <laughs> I don't know, the carpet fresh just makes me feel so much better about them. So um, I'm gonna sprinkle this around, vacuum the floor real quick. And then Clay's mum's going to come over. We're going to have a little bit of champagne out in the garden. It's going to be great. Oh. I knew you were going to have something to say about that. Come here. You. What do you want? Jesus. Punk? Someone said, dear eyes are pretty. Clay. All right. That's pretty. I'm going to vacuum. Oh, another little update. Huh? I'm making a sandwich. Before I um, vacuum the floor is that... We do have another little update on the fireplace area. Um, we're sort of like picking out a little bit of stone because down the track, um, pretty much this entire wall is going to be stone. So you guys probably don't know this, but Clay's dad is actually a stonemason. And a good one. Huh? And a very, very sought after, very good stonemason. So we're very lucky. Um, to have access to beautiful stone and to him obviously so yeah um, we're just sort of trying to pick out what we like in the way of stone do we want it flat do we want it sticky outy um, and then this stone here is actually not stone it's actually pretend stone but we think that this is what's going to be on the outside of the house down the track or a sneak peek but uh yeah this is pretty much the gist of what's going on in here so this is the floor tile right clay yeah so the fireplace will sit on top of this and then the entire wall will be actual stone. Sort of like if you guys remember what um, the wall looks like behind Clay's family's fireplace. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same. But yeah, I'm going to vacuum the floor. scrubbing the shower. I ended up cleaning the toilets and everything. 
I um, really should have vlogged it all, but I actually just wanted to get it done like as quickly as possible. Um, it is a little bit past two o'clock and Clay's mum's gonna come over in a minute. Here we go, kids. Got my hibiscus flower in syrup. Now let's um, try to not take my eye out. Oh my God. Clay. <laughs> Uh -oh. Can you please come up in this? I can't do it. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This sun is just glorious. Got my champagne. Um, Dawn is on her way over with Sky and Amir. And Clay has made the decision that he's going to grow his hair. <laughs> Luscious Lux. Lux. What do you guys think? Should he grow his hair? <laughs> Or should we cut it? Because he's, he's due for a haircut. He really badly needs one. Um, normally I give him a number four. Four. Th four. four. Three, four. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have we tried to grow his hair once, didn't we? And it yeah, I warned everyone what happens. But no just, one just poofs out. He's got his thick Mediterranean locks that are full of dust right now. Ew, Clay. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they literally it just poofs out, but um, I don't know. Clay's Clay's mum tends to think that if Clay grows his hair, it'll be long and curly like and his silky. dad's used to be and silky. Your dad's hair was never silky, it's the same coarse sort of hair, but your hair's straight like there's no curl in that at all. Yeah, I think you are due for a little bit of a haircut, Mr. Falzon. We're just hanging out, enjoying the sun on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Doesn't feel very wintry out here right now. It's pretty warm, actually. Hey, mm, it's nice. And then later tonight, um, we are going to go to Clay's fam's place for dinner, which would be nice. I only found that out just before. Did you? Yeah, you didn't tell me about um, this. I organise things with Clay's mum and then I forget to tell Clay. And I'm like, I told you, that's what we're doing. And Clay will make some other sort of plan. I'm like, we can't do that because <laughs> I already made plans for us. <laughs> Just a random little side note as well, because I know you guys always um, are interested to hear things about the house. I don't know if you can see me because the sun's like behind me, but basically a few weeks ago, we went to Bunnings and Tories. bought... Spontaneous idea. I decided that I wanted to get a bunch of fairy lights to throw over the fruit trees because I thought that would be really, really cute like for like warmer nights or whatever, whenever that comes around. But I'm like looking at the lights that we bought <laughs> and I'm looking at the size of the fruit trees and I'm like, mm, they're a lot bigger than they were in my head. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But worst comes to worst, we can always just like put the lights over the fence or something, it'd still be cute. I don't know, otherwise we can always put them on the hedge out the front. That would be cute too. Well, we Christmas can just lights. Sell them. I don't want to sell them. Clay's been selling my stuff all day. This is yeah, Dawn's yeah. first time watching ASMR and oh my god, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god, it looks amazing. Beef ragu and polenta. Mm. I don't know if you guys can uh, <laughs> tell, but there's a tiny little kangaroo behind my head just there. <laughs> Good morning. I am out of focus. <laughs> but it is the next day. And I figured that I would sort of just turn this vlog into like a few days in my life type of thing. So happy Monday. It's Monday morning. I obviously had a lot of champagne yesterday. <laughs> Um, so I didn't get up and go to the gym this morning. Um, I'd been getting up like ridiculously early. I was getting up at quarter to six and going in and training or like not really training, but like fluffing around in there for like an hour and then coming back home. And that just wasn't really working out for me last week. But anyway, yeah, it's Monday morning. I just woke up, well, I just got out of bed. <laughs> um, and I'm going to make the bed, have my cup of tea, and then I need to start work in half an hour. And then, I think probably this afternoon I might go to the gym and see how I feel because I am very very tired but yeah I just figured I would turn this into a few days of my life there's my alarm sorry for everyone that's just triggered but uh yeah good morning oh yeah and I um <laughs> I wanted to throw that kangaroo in there because a couple of people have said like we really just want to see like not like where you live but like we want to see like Australia and 
all your animals and things like that so yeah um for everyone watching that is not Australian I know a lot of you are but um a lot of you are also not <laughs> There is a crap ton of kangaroos around here, but where I live in particular is actually ridiculous. Like, there's so many freaking kangaroos around where I live that it's actually sort of a joke. Like, <laughs> I, I'm scared to get a new car because I literally, like, the chances of me hitting a kangaroo are so incredibly high where I live. Like, the, it's just, where Clay's parents live, like, or where Clay's family lives. Um, and like my sister lives in like the next town over um, there's a lot of kangaroos but the ones here in our little spot like where we are is just next level like they are legit stupid they just run out in front of cars anyway I just want to put that in there because a couple of you guys said you want to see what's going on out in the real world so that's what's going on out there I will sit in Clay's office all day when I'm working and they will like I'll just hear thump 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 because they're like jumping past <laughs> hopping past jumping anyway yeah for breakfast this morning we have some really overcooked eggs and I've already half eaten it but then I remembered I was vlogging today um avocado toast eggs salt and pepper a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and um, I've got my cup of tea and I'm going to start work in a few minutes. So right side is my shifts have changed. So I now finish work a couple days through the week where it's not actually completely dark outside. So I guess I'll see you guys after work. We're at the gym. Clay's doing his thing over there. We've just set up a little bit of a circuit. Um, let's do this. Watch us die. Love you. Bye. This looks incredible already and it's not even been in the oven yet. Hello guys, I realized that that gym clip was probably really really random because I can't even think of when I actually last checked in on the vlog but um, I finished work, got changed, went to the gym with my friend Genevieve as you guys saw. Um, it's been ages since she's been on the vlog. But uh, yeah, we did a quick little circuit and then had to get out of that room because there was a class starting so we just did some other stuff too in a crazy busy gym where I wasn't going to pull out my camera <laughs> but yeah we're back home and it is monday night which means super easy dinner night this is a homemade pie that i did not make it came from the pie shop um i was gonna say like our local pie shop but it's definitely not anywhere near us but it's from hayden's pies they literally do the best pies this one is pumpkin spinach and feta it is incredible and then to go along with it I'm just gonna do some peas because I don't know I feel like a pie by itself is just mm -hmm. like too plain but I could eat this entire thing to myself that's how good it is basically and how was your first session back in the gym for like it two years <laughs> don't mind him you guys <laughs> I'm going to pop this in the oven for half an hour, I think it takes. Um, I'm going to have a shower, put my pyjamas on, and we're going to watch some Harry Potter. I'm very excited about it. We are up to, what one are we up to? Seven out of six. This, is that the last one? No. Second last. Second last. Yeah, and then that's going to be our night. And then in the morning, I have a my PT with Clay's sister, which reminds me, I need to message her. Clay's getting into the gin. Look at how lovely this pie looks. Hello, hello. Day. I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage of me completely destroying my eggs for the second day in a row. <laughs> um, I've had a very productive morning. It's 8.30. I got up a quarter to 
six again <laughs> um went to my pt with sky it was a really good time genevieve came and joined in um and then after i went and met my cc sam at a different gym which is sort of it's just a really cool vibe there like I have to bring you guys along but it's like sort of like a weightlifting gym I suppose but they have really cool equipment like it's not like your standard gym like they have this tank thing that you push along like with weights on it and like I think it's called a sled and you can like adjust like put a little belt around you and like run and pull it behind you like they just have the coolest things if you can't tell I'm very easily impressed but um yeah this is my morning um like i've mentioned i'm a creature of habit i do the same thing pretty much every single day get up go to the gym come home um <laughs> but i go through like phases with my breakfast so like right now you can see i'm addicted to eggs on toast with avocado last week i was addicted to just having my like chocolate protein shake with banana and that would be enough to like fill me up but it's just not cutting it, sis. <laughs> Lately, I'm just bloody starving after like an hour of having that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my breakfast. And then tonight, since um, the only thing that really changes in my vlogs are the food, I think I'm going to try and make ramen for dinner. Clark is a really good recipe. That's really, really easy. Like, mine is really, really hard, but Clarky's got a really good, easy one. So, maybe I can even talk him into making that for us. But I'm going to eat my breakfast, have a shower, start work, and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys in a little bit, I suppose. So, I'm just on a little bit of a break at the moment. Don't mind me in my dressing gown. Wow, this lighting. Um, hey, guys! I just got a parcel that I've been waiting on literally for ever. And... I really hope it's as cute as I think it is. You guys know what this is. I've literally, I spoke about it, I think, in, I don't even know, what was it in? It was in my, if I can put you guys up here, in my, um, I think it was my misguided haul. Oh my God, what's happening in this house? I literally can't put my camera anywhere without the lighting being all messed up. But, maybe we can go here. Hello. <laughs> What a strange setup. This is one part of a really cute Nike cupboard that I've been trying to get my hands on that is always sold out. But this is the metallic swoosh pastel color block hoodie. And oh my god, I can't wait to wear this. Look how cute it is. <gasps> you guys, I'm just body speechless. So we've got a green arm pink middle, a yellow arm, a blue hood, and then uh, a little bit of a lilac-y pocket, and um, the trim down the bottom. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I feel like I need to lay this on the floor so you guys can like see it properly, but... That is just... What a dream. <laughs> if there was a piece of clothing that was ever me, this is... this would be it. <laughs> Look who's finished work for the day! Oh, <laughs> He thinks he's so funny. I don't know if you've... Oh yeah, I was going to say, have you even been on the vlog? Um, Probably not. I get <laughs> avoided. Like the play. Because I'm avoided the vlog. I'm not. <laughs> Someone do a comment. Clay is the popular one, or Tori is the popular one. And we'll see who gets all the thumbs up on the comments, hey? Yeah. Anyway, it's been a stressful bloody day, I'm not going to lie. I'm in a bit of a sh** mood. Huh? I've had a great day. Don't you spoil it. Peeled all my nail polish off because that's how stressful work was. But we are about to jump in the car. I've got my lovely clean grocery bags over here that I'm very excited about. Like, wow, this light looks crazy. That's better. Um, now Clay's on the phone, but yeah. Lovely clean grocery bags. And um, we're going to jump in the car. We actually need to go to Coles for the things that I need to get, which is... Just scary because we literally never go to Coles. But anyway, gonna bring you guys along. See you when we get there. Here we are in Coles, the shop we never come to, and I don't know why because everything always looks so much better in here. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, behold, we are back home, and be prepared to be amazed because this is literally the easiest way to make 
a super easy ramen ever. Um, normally I would make my own broth and everything, but this is honestly that good and so, so easy. It literally takes like 15 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to follow the instructions on the back of this little Coles brand chicken ramen broth. Um, we, <laughs> the recipe calls for chicken, but Clay and I both prefer pork in our ramen. So we literally just buy the pre-made pork from Woolies. It is honestly so, so good. <laughs> and then these aren't the noodles that I would like to typically get, but that's what we're going to be putting in them. Some spring onion, a little bit of coriander. We've got shiitake mushrooms. We've got whatever this says, shimiji mushrooms to go in there too. Um, a little bit of baby bok choy. And then my fave, oh, it's looking a bit wilted because sometimes Willie just does not come through, but this is Chinese broccoli. So I'm going to throw this all together and I guess I will show you guys when it's done. Dinner mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. served. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sissy Bell is FaceTiming us, but she's hiding. Ta-da, not my best work. I kind of killed my egg, but I promise you guys will not be disappointed. Hello, Sissy. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> We're going to eat, and I'm so keen for this. There is seriously something wrong with these animals. They're ha they're having a punch up. Now they're scratching. Oh my goodness. Come on. Widows. Oh, it's on. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Literally, I can't cope. Hello, everybody. Body. It's the next day um, and it's pretty late in the day. It's like quarter past three and I've not done a whole lot today. I got up quarter to six, went to the gym, did um, actually went to that other gym that I was telling you guys about and had a really good session there. Um, it was really good. Like it was just nice to do something different to what I would usually do. But anyway, I'm going to go back every day for the rest of this week because why not um, do something new and like uh, what's the word like expand outside of my comfort zone but um yeah no plans really for this afternoon I painted my nails I'm very happy about that went back to black again and um I think when Clay gets home we're gonna go to our other gym and I'm just gonna do some different stuff there then we go to Woolies again come home and make dinner tonight I'm going to make um, it's sort of like this fish thing. We've got some lovely coral trout that I pulled out of the freezer and um, It's sort of like a coconut creamy sauce type of thing with it's got like 50 ingredients in it But it's really not as intimidating as the recipe looks. Yeah, I'm keen for something like that like fish with like Mashed sweet potato or something. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when I finish work I've only got like 40 minutes to go um I don't know, basically a repeat of yesterday, but you guys um, made a really good point on my video where I was talking about everything being repetitive. Someone said, um, yeah, but Tori, you need to remember your everyday is different to our everyday. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I just, I never want to let you guys down. That's all. But anyway, I'll see you in like one second. Guess who left the camera at home, but is back from the gym. <laughs> And also went to Woolies and I have a little bit of a grocery haul for you guys. So I'm going to pull everything out and I'll show you what we got. Just, it's just some stuff for like dinner tonight and dinner tomorrow night. Alright, grocery haul time. Clay Fauzon, do you care to take us through what we got? Food. Food. Okay, so starting with the not food <laughs> items. <laughs> um, more of my fabric softener. This is my fave and I'm never going to change. <laughs> Um, also picked up some little toilet blocks because they were like $2.50 and I don't know about you guys but I don't know if it's because this house is really old but the toilet always smells a little bit funky and it's not like it's not clean guys like you know me mm -hmm. but like, even if it's not been used for a couple days or whatever like it just smells funny and I don't know why but anyway um some purple sweet potatoes. I'm going to try and do a mash with these tonight. Um, some white chocolate melts because I'm going to make us a little bit of dessert using those. Some banana and this short crust pastry. 
If you guys follow my Instagram, you will know. I'm not a sweet type of gal, but my favorite dessert is this. Um, it's a white chocolate and banana calzone from um, Sam's Pizza, which is like a pizza. Are you okay? <laughs> which is like a pizza and pasta place um, in our area. But anyway, going to try and recreate that because I just can't afford to buy that every night. But also got some of our favorite garlic bread, some avocados, some broccolini, um, some Legos fresh slow cooked veal tortellini because that will be dinner tomorrow night or the night after. One or the other. The biggest box in the world of sleepy time tea um this is not normally this big so i'm very very excited about it a little bit of parmesan to go with that and also a little bit of cream to go with that and some new flowers because you guys i think these sunflowers have um really had their day <laughs> that's really sad i am going to make dinner and um, once I've got it all in, I, I guess I'll explain to you guys what I did because it's pretty, like, it requires a lot of thinking and I honestly don't think I can make this while I'm talking to you guys. So I'm going to throw it all together and find a new boyfriend and I'll um, see you guys in a minute. Find a new boyfriend. All right, boys and girls, dinner is finally ready. This is Clay's <laughs> and this is mine. Um... So we honestly sort of just wung it in the end. I yeah. decided that I couldn't have been bothered to actually follow the recipe. But I used all the same ingredients still. It still tastes really good. We also decided to add in some cheese, which is like the most random thing that we could have added into that. But I'm glad we did. I'm very excited about it. It looks like it needs something on top. But who cares? It's very fancy. It's meant to be like a thin sauce, by the way. It's not meant to be like thick white sauce. But yeah, we're going to eat this while it's hot. <laughs> Dinner is done. Side note as well, um, for the fish, if anyone's wondering, we just wrapped it up in some foil into like a little steamy pouch and then popped that onto the barbecue outside because I can't stand cooking fish in the house because it stinks out the whole thing. But I'm going to try and make our little um, short crust pastry version of our white chocolate banana Calzone, calzoni, however you want to say it. Um, watch this space. <laughs> Clay wants to put Nutella in one. How much chocolate should I put in this? This is going to give me the biggest stummy ache, but I don't really care. I think I just said stummy, like mix tummy and stomach together. Stummy. I think that would be enough white chocolate for me. Excuse me, get on your own board. <laughs> okay. This will do, I reckon. Maybe a little bit more. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. Who won? You think you did? Mm -hmm. So hot. Oh yeah, I did good. Oh. Mm. Okay. Because the queen has arrived. Give you queen. Oh, it exploded! Why is it so shifty? Where is it all? <laughs> oh. That just looks like baby. Play! <laughs> baby poo. <laughs> Why is it all curdled? Look! <laughs> it's not curdled. Some standard taste, eh? I win. I actually think I win. <laughs> Can you try them? Pretty good. <laughs> They're definitely not any um. They're definitely not. Um... Then I mean, it's insulting really to say that we tried to do this inspired by Sam's Pizza because they're That's so. Pretty good one. Yeah, mine is, mine is better, hey. No. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to go ahead and conclude the video. Um, how many days was this? Like, Saturday, Sunday? Today, Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I don't know what day I started the vlog. I think I started it on Sunday. But, um, 
yeah it's been a few days i'm sure it's probably been a really long video so if you did make it this far thank you so so much for watching mm. what nothing mm. Mm. <laughs> just agreeing mm. he's really just <laughs> mm -ing about the food is. i think i'm done with those that is gonna be it for the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did as always be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i love you guys so so much and i'll see you really really soon <laughs> Bye.